We're looking at the uh, Cuisinart DGB850. It's an advanced model. It appears to take away design features often found on Apple products. It's almost as if um, Cuisinart um, would prefer that the customer not do repairs on the coffee maker. It's a combination grinder coffee maker. Uh, when I had a power failure recently, the coffee that was grinding did not complete its full cycle, leaving uh, residual coffee grounds in a compartment that is not readily accessible. If you look at the top of this coffee maker, you'll notice that the um, module, uh, mushroom shaped if you will, that typically releases the uh, coffee ground section from the lower portion of the coffee maker is not um, able to be turned. So in previous models there was a uh, uh, release feature that allowed you to engage um, a switch in a counterclockwise position, unlock it, and release it for uh, easy cleaning. Some uh, owners of this particular model who have demonstrated their cleaning technique on YouTube would say that every time you add uh, a new batch, uh, a new bag of coffee beans to the top of the Cuisinart DGB850 or the previous model, that you should clean the coffee maker grinding, uh, grinding area. That I recommend heartily once you determine how the top is best to be removed. I've tried inadvertently to remove it by um, releasing it from its side uh, with a compression fit presumed and I found that it would not, in fact if you look closely at my work you'll see that I have chipped the edge in the process of using a flat uh, screwdriver head in order to try to pry it up from its mounting. So now my, my, my next thought would be that uh, the uh, screws are on the undercarriage and allow me access to an area where I can release the top and do additional cleaning. Uh, this is Mark Fredrickson. I will continue in just a few minutes. Thank you.